You can feel the tension in the air as we move into race day here at Monaco. It's a track that requires the full concentration of the drivers with zero margin for error. It tests their skills to the absolute limits. So no wonder, it remains a fan favorite. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Anthony Davidson, alongside me as always, to talk you through the action. Now, I want to talk to you about Valtteri Bottas. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? So we're in for an exciting start then, I'm sure. And then they'll all start to settle down a bit and try and find a rhythm as they plan the next phase of the Grand Prix. It's important to know when to push and when to hold back so as not to overcook those tyres early on. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel and Ricardo, Norris, Sainz, Gasly and Lance Stroll. Ocon, Leclerc, Yuki Tsunoda, and Fernando Alonso, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Kimi Raikkonen, and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway.
DRS is now available. Gap ahead is 18.4 seconds.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Ferme. So, another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Sergio Perez takes the position of points leader in the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that today. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.